Hi there, yes. I mean, firstly, how are you and how are you finding life here in Bournemouth? I'm uh, really happy. I think uh, everyone has welcomed me very well. Uh, I think I know already the, a lot of the new faces and I'm more familiarized with the, with the people in the club and uh, working with the, with the players. Now it's a difficult period, precision, because you are working, you are thinking that you are doing the things correctly, but every team is doing the same. So until this, the competition starts, we still, football-wise, we don't know where we are. I mean, you touched on it there, but your preparations continue for, for the start of the season. What do you make of where you are now, looking ahead to another uh, pre-season friendly tomorrow? I think we improved a lot the other day uh, from the previous games we had in Spain. I think the, the general idea uh, was there against uh, Southampton. We need to improve uh, physically to sustain the level we want for more minutes, and we want we we, we need to improve uh, in small details or big details as you want with the set pieces and all these things that we 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 know that uh, have to be better. Are you able to give us a bit more info um, about tomorrow and what you in particular be looking to get from that that game against Atalanta? Yes, for us, it's going to be a really demanding game. I think they are a team that they have a very particular way of playing, that they know it very well. A very, very good coach who has developed the team and they, they will be a very difficult team to beat because their, their system is very, very particular. They know it perfectly. All the players are physically ready for the way they want to play so it's going to be tough for us but it's very good thing in precision when you have to 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 face very good players who know the system who are already a very well organized team is 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 going to be good for us you've already made some signings um so far this window what have you made of the new players that you brought in and how how they're adapting to things here at Bournemouth I think uh, Justin was the first one I think uh, he he's already very familiarized with the others. I think he can help us in, in, in a lot of positions. And uh, I think in all the fourth fourth uh, forward positions. Uh, Milos, uh, he just arrived past week, but I think he, after playing against Southampton, uh, he's ready to perform. He's ready to perform. He's very young, but he, he has the, 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 the correct mentality to perform. And Andre just arrived yesterday. Uh, we have to know him better as a as a person, but I think he will help help us a lot in the in the in the, in the goalkeeper area. I mean, only arrived yesterday, but I guess straight into action tomorrow. Yes, we have to talk with the goalkeeping coaches, but I think he's he's ready to play. Uh, we haven't made the decision. Uh, we have to 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 see how to distribute the minutes between tomorrow and the next game against Lorient. But I think he, he trained very well yesterday, so I think he's ready to play. And are you able to give us any insight into what other business you might be looking to do before the close of the window? Uh, I think there are obvious areas that we need to improve. That is the, the midfield. I think uh, you, you already know. And there are other areas that we are looking to to improve if you come, if the, if the chance is there, if the opportunity is there. But probably uh, the squad will not be complete even when we start the season. Because at the end, uh, the market finishes the end of August. It's not easy for the coaches, especially this, this month of August. But it's, it's what we have, all the, all the teams have. And uh, we, we, we have to wait sometimes. Because uh, for the coaches, we, the perfect situation is have the players from the first game of pre-season and have time to develop. But uh, in some situations, you cannot sign the players today and you have to wait and see if you are able to sign them later in the, in the market. Um, and just finally from me, I mean, how excited are you to get stuck into the Premier League? I know not long to go now until you take on West Ham. Yes, it's not so far away. I think I'm really excited. I think it's a really good challenge for me. Uh, we need to prepare really well, as, as, as good as we can, because uh, we also have strong opponents at the beginning of the season, so we have to be ready. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Just following on from the question about how you're settling in, how are you settling in away from the football ground? Uh, I think I've I've been lucky. I've been lucky because the the place is really nice. It's really nice. There are very very beautiful places. I hadn't had uh, so much time, but uh, the other day we had the off day. I went to Dadeldor. It was amazing. Oh, very nice. nice place. And uh, okay, I'm used now with the fish and chips and these things, and I'm starting to settle in. But I think there are a lot of uh, beautiful areas that I don't know right now. But I've I'm starting to take all the information and when I have time I will do my, my own research. Back, back to the football now. You've played a team from England, a team from Scotland and a team from Israel. Now it's Italy. What differences can we expect from the opponent tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, uh, I think they are tactically very good. Very good. And also with uh, Gasperini, they've been playing the same way for a lot of years. They've been very successful in Europe. They will play Europe this season also. They've played Europa League, Champions League. Been uh, really, really a very good team, a very attractive team to play. I think it's going to be demanding for us because they go in a lot of man marking, a lot of one against one situation. They attack with a lot of players. So I think it's uh, physically will be uh, very good precision game because the players will suffer out there it needs what what uh, you want to improve and then to, to to improve the limits and and to 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 test ourselves probably tactically i don't see a lot of english teams playing the way atalanta plays so it's not going to be so uh, tactical preparation for the premier league but uh, individually for the players, I think it's a very good game. Your first game and our first home game as well. And the, the Bournemouth supporters certainly gave you a taste of what they're like on Tuesday night. You must have been quite impressed with them. Yes, it was amazing. Uh, the atmosphere in an away game, I think uh, it looked like we were playing at home because uh, they were they were uh, really supportive during the 90 minutes. and. Uh, it's very good. It's very good for us, for the players to feel the support so closely as the other day. And uh, it's going to be a very important part for us. We uh, have to make our home, uh, all the teams have, but we have especially our home, really tough place to come and play in. And with the help of the supporters will be more easier for us. I want to ask you about the Ryan Christie goal on Tuesday night from a manager's perspective. That must have been an absolute dream goal to see your team winning the ball back on the edge of the 18-yard box. Yes, we scored uh, even the Brooks's goal was kind of uh, okay. We recover, pass, and we score. Uh, Ryan Christie's goal was more kind of a goal kick press. Uh, it's really nice, yes, obviously, but we will not be able to do it uh, every game. You know, sometimes, okay, it's a good press, you, you are not going to score, but you regain possession high and you might keep your team high and you keep their team closer to their goal. And this is something that is going to be important for us. And it takes uh, concentration, focus from the players, position quickly, uh, energy to for the first press, but we need all this to 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 become a better team. And just finally, and only, and only some um, injury news. Um, I know you've spoken about Lloyd Kelly, Marcus Tavernier, Antoine Semenyo, and Ryan Fredericks. Can you just give us a quick update on those four? Yes, um, Antoine Semenyo started training yesterday for first day with the with the group, so he's. He had the injury previous season and he's recovering well and I think it will take time because he hasn't done any training in pre-season with the group, but uh, he's close to to be part of, of, of the group. Uh, also, I will add Joe Rothwell, that is kind of similar situation to Semenio, but he's, I would say, 10-15 days uh, before, so he could even play some minutes against Southampton. Uh, Lloyd Kelly, he had... Uh, a uh, calf muscle injury uh, some days ago, I would say two weeks ago, something like this, during the the, the precision in, in Marbella, the stage in Marbella. And he should be close for the beginning of the season. 
I don't know if he will arrive or not, but should be like this. I think the worst case is um, is uh, tough. Tough had. Um, uh, I, I don't want to get so so technical with the medical stuff, but some issue in the knee. I don't know if he will be able be, to play before the international break we have after I think Brentford. I think it's four games and international break. We hope we can count with him before, but it's going to be tough. I think I count that if everything goes normal for the for the international break, he should be fine. And uh, Freda is still with the injury he had uh, on the calf, and he hasn't started training with um, with the team. I think that's all. Yeah. Okay.